<clears throat> hello, hello, good evening, and welcome to the home of the Ghost Owl. Here we are for our Monday night stream, getting some streaming in while we can, while we're at home. So today we are streaming Planet Crafter, continuing where we are currently 63.3 GTI and increasing. So let's take a look at what we're going to be up to. So we are working our way towards fish, 35% there, in terms of our map. We have explored the entirety of the existing map so far, and we've also got our information rocket, so we can see that as well. So that's all done. And we've got nowhere else to explore. You can see here we've got the markers of where we've got bases, and we've got bases, uh, or mini bases, I should say, in every single zone. We have no more uh, messages to read there. Right, in terms of our unlocks, where are we? So in terms of pressure, that's the one we now have T3 ore extractors, and that's gonna be the focus of what we want to build. Uh, we have unlocked everything on heat as well for the nuclear fusion, and we have unlocked everything but the water life collector for the oxygen, still some way to go there. Obviously, we are working towards trying to unlock everything in the game. So we've unlocked now teleporters, tree spreaders, osmium, um, fusion energy cells, and a drone station is also now unlocked. <clears throat> and we have still got a way to go. We need to get to 450 GTI. So still a way to go to unlock everything from here. And then we've got all of these to unlock as well. We're not on animals yet. As you can see, plenty on the insects to unlock. Nearly done on the plants, only two more of those to go. and uh, But still plenty on the biomass overall. Biomass needs to get to 80 kilotons, so we've got a way to go with that. T5 heaters also now available, right? So we've got plenty of things to do. Uh, butterfly farms and all sorts. Uh, but first of all, we want to um, go and uh, and get these T3 um, mines. So if we look at what do we need, there you go, osmium rod, super alloy rod, iridium rod, and three titanium. Now, we get three osmium from one of those. We do get the super alloy rod, and we get the iridium rod. So it's just the osmium rod that we need. Um... The other thing I've got to check is because I um, we haven't played for a bit. We need to check exactly um, where we are. I'll get some water when we're on our way out. Um, exactly if we built any. I think we've built some T3 mines already. So let's see how many we've got left to build. All right, let's stop here and pick up some water. There we go. We can leave the rest. And obviously we've got teleporters that we want everywhere as well. We've got trading rockets up as well. Right, so these are T2. So let's pick this up while we're here. So we know this iridium needs to be turned into a T2. So let's empty it. And then what we need to do is we know we're going to get six osmium from it. I need to work out where I need to make an osmium rod. Because I have forgotten. It's been three weeks since I've been able to get into the game. Um, and a lot of that is down to... Um, uh, the work and travel unfortunately so let's take those running out of room for iridium All right osmium rod we just need nine osmium so we're going to get three from the um uh, ore extractors All right do we have any more aluminium Okay, titanium. Okay, we're going to need three of those. That's going to be fine. Magnesium's full. Cobalt's full. Okay, silicon. We can add some in here. Iron is full. We can put some in here. We've got cobalt. That's also full. 
Magnesium's full. Uh, blueprints, lava, titanium, butterflies, equipment, trees, algae. Ah, iridium, there we go. We can put some more iridium in here. Osmium and chemicals. Okay, right. So I think there was a tit yeah, there's some spare titanium. Oops. Titanium in here. We are going to shred some of these materials because we just got too much of it. So let's just get rid of that. Right, osmium-wise, here you go. So if we if we take six osmium, actually no, not yet. What we need to do is we need to deconstruct both of the. Um, oh, we got 175 terra tokens gained. That's good. We need to deconstruct both of these mines. <clears throat> so that we can get the materials out of it. Wow, uh, that takes so much space. Okay, this is gonna just, we're gonna have to do a lot of um, well, backwards and forwards here as we uh, negotiate the amount of raw materials that are out there as we convert into where do we see where do where was my sec there's my secondary iridium one in there 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 and there i'm going to keep the super i'm going to take one of the iridium rods keep the osmium um the silicon we do need so let's go and put that over here. Titanium, we have another one here. Like so. Iron, I think we're nearly maxed out. There you go, so that's that. Right, and then we can get rid of all of this. Unfortunately, we're just running out of space for those. Right, okay. Uh, and let's go and disassemble the next one and we can then replace that with a T3 ore extractor. And these T3s are just going to stop us getting the junk, right? So... There we go. And done. Right, let's go and make ourselves... Uh, we need to get three titanium out and we need to make ourselves an osmium rod. <clears throat> Okay, so let's take three of those. That'll make the osmium rod. Iridium, let's put that back. And that and that. We'll keep the titanium. We'll put a super alloy rod back away. And I need one more titanium. Let's go to our titanium. There we go. <clears throat> make ourselves the osmium rod. Boom. And we now have everything we need asteroid strike <laughs> okay okay there was just one asteroid strike and that was over here was it that uh, landed storage crate okay did that cut it's holy potatoes 500 terra tokens is an asteroid full of crates oh my god i've never seen this before didn't even know this was a thing zeolite oh my word look Holy potato. I didn't even know that was a thing. But we just literally... I'll have to come back and uh, and delete those as well, right? Let's get the uh, T3 mine up. That's literally just, like, blown my mind. Right. <laughs> um, okay. Right, there's that ore extractor T3. In that goes. And we want that to be iridium. There we go. Holy moly. Oh, 
my god, I didn't even empty this one. Jeez. Right, we need to go and uh, empty the bag so that I can come back, deconstruct the other ones so that I know what we've emptied and what we haven't. There was an asteroid that came in full of crates. It also had 500 Terra tokens in it. No pulsar cores, unfortunately. Uh, but we did get some zeolite, which I won't turn away. Chemicals. Yes, so we did get ourselves uh, chemicals. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Um, yeah, bacteria samples in there as well. We got 5,000 Terra tokens. We got 5,500 Terra tokens. Let me play that again. 5,500 Terra tokens from that asteroid. Holy moly. <clears throat> My god, that is insane. Bunch of rocket motors. I've got rocket motors at the yin yang at the moment. Look, everywhere. I've got more iridium rods. I'm going here. We picked up some more osmium. We've got some plants to get rid of as well. Seeds. There we go. Flowers. And they go. Seeds. And they go. And. Whoa, whoa, wowzers. This is all I can say is a wow wowzers. Right, let's empty this. Uh, put that in here because that's going to be more for our. Oh, I don't need to fill that one up. This is. Uh... Okay, good. And some water while we're here. Um, yeah, this is what we're going to be using to get more Terra tokens. Um, right. Okay, so. Um, Ooh, I haven't. Anyway, Iridium Mine has at least one T3, right? So while we're coming this way, we're going to check on Super Alloy Mine. Oh, I've still got plants. There we go. Another one here. My, I still can't believe that. 5,500 Terra Tokens from that. Right. Um, Jesus. So let's go and check on Super Alloy Mine and see if we've built a T3 or extractor there. Uh, that's crazy like literally asteroid falls out the sky ton of crates and in those crates we've got 5,000 um, 500 terra tokens all right so that's full of super ally we'll pick that up while we're here but yeah we've got two t3 super alloy ore extractors so i i should build a second iridium so let's go build a second iridium one once we've got these ore extractors up we are not going to be short of uh, materials like almost ever the only thing we're going to be short of is the pulsar cores right Okay, so arriving at our base, we're there at night now. Right, okay, um, what do we get? Super alloy, we got a whole stack of it. Um, we do have a, another super alloy cabinet over here, so let's ditch all of that. Uh, let's ditch the iron, because we don't really have the space for it. Flowers we're gonna put over here. 
need to start using more of those. Right, next T3, so I'm going to need six osmium. There we go, let's make an osmium rod. And let's get the three titanium, one, two, three, and we can go make ourselves another T3 ore extractor, which would give us two super alloy T3 and two iridium T3. Okay, here we go, T3. Oh, can't go on that side. Okay, we'll have to go there. And we'll set that to be Iridium. Perfect, right. Let's now go and check on... We've done Super Alloy, done Iridium. We're now on Sulfur Mine. We've got Osmium Mine up there as well. Right, so Sulfur Mine is... Um, T2. So let's empty that, and I can't deconstruct it yet. So let's take that and head back. So the next thing to do is to do T3 sulfur mines. Sulfur, right, sulfur is in here. And that's the sulfur, and we should have another one here. That's also full, oh my, we're actually full on sulfur. Ooh, I don't really want to be throwing the sulfur away. Uh, I'm not gonna throw the silicon away. Silicon, we seem to be a bit short of. Right, sulfur. Mm, we've got nowhere to put it. I'm gonna, maybe it's going to have to. I'm not going to be short of it. Let's just. I just. I'm full, literally. I, building more and more cabinets with sulfur in at the moment just doesn't make sense. So, what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct one of the mines and then fill up on the. Uh, contents of the other one then we're going to come back and we're going to build two t3 sulfur mines oh there we go okay we're going to have to empty i can't deconstruct yet That what I can do is I can actually take the materials over and then just replace the osmium, right? We can definitely do that, right? What have we got here? So osmium, all right, I need to get rid of one of the iridium rods, uh, which is here. Let's get rid of the flashlight. There you go. One of the iridium rods can go, and then we can get rid of that and then all of this because we're just full on it. I need titanium. We're going to need six of that. We're going to need. We are going to need actually the X. Actually, I don't because I'm going to get that from the. Um, I'm going to get that from uh, deconstructing. I need another nine, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and we should now be able to make two osmium rods. Okay, and then we'll get the other materials I need to build the T3 ore extractor from deconstruction.
there's a sizable update coming up for this game in the future um and not too far away and i have seen on it it looks like there's a new area to explore along with a new wreck and i don't know what else i haven't seen all the content in there but the screenshot they've shown is like a lava area with a wreck in the background which looks quite interesting right okay let's build one two and sulfur and sulfur perfect right Very nice. I'm going to go and check on the osmium mines next because we are going to start going through the osmium as we get those um, osmium uh, rods made. So we need to make sure we got plenty of osmium because that's what we're going to be shortest of. But we can ditch three osmium in there. We can ditch an iridium rod. We can put the sulfur in here. Um, have we got osmium anywhere else? Ice cap. Or is that the only osmium? Aluminium. No, I've got another osmium. So I have got plenty of osmium, but I just still want to check. Um, all right, osmium mine we're going to. So this is kind of like the necessary work to make sure that it be just becomes smoother um, later on with materials and stuff. So here's our osmium mine. And once we've got these mines up, we can really start looking at what else we want to build. So these look like T3s, and they are. So let's take all this osmium. Perfect. So that's a whole stack of osmium. I'm running low on water, but we have a water filter. So we could just go drink from the lake, no less. So off we go. There we go. And drink. And drink. There we go. Thank you very much. So you can see our base here out over the lake there's our control room at the top along with our living area our bridge running all the way across and uh, that's all looking tip top right um actually let's go make some rods while we're here that certainly saves some space there you go we've made a few rods that will help so let's ditch that in there so next up where are we going to go right so we've done We've done osmium, sulfur, and iridium, and super alloy. Uh, I think I want to go to uranium next. Go to uranium mine. Uh, I think I want the uranium T3 done before um, the aluminium. Let's see, we've got our big tree spreaders here um, doing a good job. Holy moly, look at this. Doing a really good job with the trees. Got a good old forest going on here. Yeah, so we're going to get that uranium sorted and then aluminium last. And that will be all the main materials. And then we're going to do one T3 mine for each of the materials like silicon, titanium, and so on. So we've still got plenty of... Um, Plenty of things to go in terms of those materials. Okay, so we haven't done uranium mine, so we need to empty this. Okay. So this is where it's going to be a bit of a backwards and forwards. So 
there's actually a wreck at the bottom of that water that we've uh, already searched. Uh, we searched that before it filled up with water. So the, the, the downside here is it's actually quite a trek um, from uh, main base uh, to uranium mine. But you can see the trees. Those big tree spreaders have really, really um, spread quite far. You know, we've got them all around this uh, this water area. So we kind of got this is kind of like my oasis, if you like. So we started at 63 GTI. We're already up to 75.9, which is good. So we got T5 heaters up there as well. So as we come in here, right, so uranium, let's turn that into uranium rods at least. Helps with the space and we have run out. Okay, let's keep the three titanium silicon. I think we're now full on. Um, right, let's get rid of the stuff we don't want which is that right have i got any more uranium circuit boards osmium osmium chemicals super alloy butterflies i don't have a secondary uranium cabinet so i am going to make one because i do like to kind of have two cabinets of each metal so where are we going to put it that looks like a good place. Uranium. And there we go. Right. Let's take with us an osmium rod. Uh, we've got the three titanium. We'll get the iridium and the um, super alloy rod from the deconstruction. So we'll be able to build one mine straight away. So, you know, we are definitely terraforming this place. You can see oxygen now not a problem until we go underwater. It's just the uh, the uh, food and drink. I haven't come across any more of the gold boxes. So I don't know if I've got them all yet or not. But we will keep searching for them. I don't know how many there are in total. But we'll keep our eyes out for them. Okay. uranium mine so let's empty that let's deconstruct and let's build a t3 one and replace this with that empty this one and back we go So after we've done uranium, uranium mine is the furthest mine away. Um, so next up will be aluminium mine. But, um, you know, eventually the aim will be to have teleporters everywhere. That will be the plan.
but getting these mines up for me is an absolute priority right now um, it would just make getting hold of the materials just that much easier you know you need aluminium you go to the aluminium mine there's aluminium not a whole ton of junk so we've got a dust storm coming in it's not an asteroid strike so we're fine as, as i've always keep saying i wish there were um the as the, the dust storms did more I wish the dust storms did more in terms of were um uh more impactful Right, I'm going to keep the aluminium. Actually, no, I can, the iridium rod we can get rid of. And then we can get rid of all of this. So that, that, not the osmium, that. Going to keep the titanium. I need, in fact, the osmium here we can trade out for a rod. I need one more titanium. Right, we can go back, we can deconstruct the other uranium mine now, and we'll all be good. So you can see, once we've done um, these mines, I've actually got a couple more farms I need to build. So it'll be important to get them done. The good thing by having um, the bases everywhere is should we need to, um, like asteroids come in, we've got bases that we can, you know, that aren't far away from pretty much, you know, we've got one in each, I don't want to call it a biome because they're not really biomes, but one in each kind of little zone. I guess they are kind of biomes, but in a way. Okay. Good. So let's come here. Take that. Reconstruct. And build. Set for uranium. There we go. And we can now go back. We can grab some uh, water and some food. Water's low, but that's not a problem because here's some water and we can drink. There we go. Food, however, we'll have to get that when we arrive back. So certainly hoping at some point we do get ourselves a little buggy thing. Still crying out for a little vehicle. Yep, food level low. Um, I see it. I see it, my friend. Well, that is uranium mine built. So we've done all the uranium mines, which is good. See plenty of beans there. So if we come in here, have some food. There we go. And we empty this one out. Like so. So we're making the high energy food because it um, it trades quite well. So I want to use that for, for for the Terra tokens. Okay, good, right. Okay, aluminium mine is next. All right, okay, how many Terra tokens have we got? 7,600. All right, this should be enough to fill a rocket, so let's pick all of that up. Let's pick all of that up. And yeah, we've got a full uh, full thing there. Our trade rockets are over here. 
thing is our trees have now gone so crazy uh, that it's like where the rockets are. There we go. There we go. Another rocket there on its way to get those terror tokens. But yeah, getting 5,500 terror tokens just from a uh, thing like that was amazing. Ah, right, okay, so this is something to note. These are T1 extractors. Okay, T1 extractors. Why have I still got food in here? Did I not empty it? Am I a Muppet? Did I take it from the wrong thing? I think I might have done. There. Ooh, we might have an issue with rockets not being able to take off. Mm. Okay, I think we are going to have to move our space trading rockets. Did not consider that one. Okay, let's ditch this. I wanted to build my space trading rockets on the water, but it won't let me. Hmm, not sure I'm going to do that. Um, or where I'm going to put them. The thing is, I don't want them miles away, right? miles away let's do this one first okay let's ditch that yes yeah, so we're gonna have to think about where we're gonna put our space trading rockets Because eventually I want quite a lot of them. It doesn't... I mean, eventually it won't matter because we'll just teleport, right? But... Yeah, I'll be able to just put them along here. For now. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's, di let's finish off um, at least getting rid of the mine. Okay... We got uh, super alloy. We've got an iridium rod, which we're going to keep. Osmium. We've got two of. So we need to get rid of that for a rod. Three titanium. Okay. Well, we're going to need a super alloy rod as well. So that's one. Right, we're going to need... How many titanium? We need two more titanium. We're going to need another osmium rod. So that's that seven, eight, nine. And we're going to get an iridium rod with that, which is fine. So I should... Ah, so I need another super alloy rod, right? So a super alloy rod is eight and an aluminium. Okay. Good. So we've got everything we need to build the two T3 mines. Okay. So yeah, we are going to need to move that uh, space trade rocket. 
nuts. Thought it was going to be like a secret James Bond base in the jungle where they're launching rockets from, but no, apparently not. Right. Uh, T3, and there it goes. And let's empty this and deconstruct. And T3. Huh, it was just there and it won't let me place it. There we go, okay. Ooh, low power, not expected. Okay, we have to sort that out. don't think I've got enough pulsar quartz for a fusion, so I'm going to have to go with a uranium nuclear. T2 nuclear. Ouch. Osmium in here. Aluminium in here. Super alloy in here. We've still got an osmium. I should I didn't put both in. Okay, and ditch that. Right, um, pulsar quartz. We've got eight. How many do I need? Five. Okay, we've got enough. One, two, three, four, five. Super alloy. Oh, one, two, three, four. There it is. Power restored. Let's go check our power while we're here. So we've still got quite a few to build. Uh, 1,429.5. And they look at that, those T3 ore extractors. So 12 take 3,000. So how much does each one take? Bearing in mind, we've got to build like another six. Okay, a lot. So we're going to have to, we could really do with some more pulsar quartz. Uh, but we've got to, we need to get to 175 GTI before we can make pulsar quartz. Okay, so we got five, but we can make a T two nuclear reactor if we have to. Okay. Right, next. Actually, let's go and do these trade rockets first. Let's uh, empty this for now. So is that rocket still glitching? Yes. Trading rocket, uranium rod. Did not pick it up. Are we full? Is that why? I didn't see it on the ground. Oh, there it is. See this. It's 
want it far enough away from the building, so... How big are these things? Pretty sizable, but we can keep it far enough away by the looks of it. Nope. Uh, yeah. Huh. But I can't link it. What's there that's stopping me? Is it a rock or something? There we go. There we go. So we got one trade rocket off. Okay. It's still making good food. Right, excellent. All right, let's get rid of these mines over here. Keep the osmium, keep the titanium, ditch the rest. And this has been the problem. Um, all right, so we need seven. There we go. And then we need nine. So that's two osmium rods there. One, two super alloy rods. Then we need eight. And eight. Is that that's ten, fourteen, sixteen with two aluminium? Excellent. And then I need one, two, three. Okay. So this one is going to do, um, I don't know, let's just do silicon. Uh, oh. Huh. Yes, of course, it's going to land exactly where I want to place it. There we go. So we've got that one doing silicon, this one can do titanium. Ditch these. And we need that. Right, osmium, don't have any more there, but we do have some here, so we've got, right, so we need seven. So that's seven, nine, and then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then we need super alloy. Oh, we've already got uh, 
Right, how many is that? That's seven. That's oh no, we got eight. So there's one. What have we got over here? Super alloy. Right, okay, we've got some more here. Good. That's eight. We need an aluminium. There we go. So that's this is two more mines, but I need titanium. And then we need iridium. Okay. Need to check our power after this. We've done titanium, we've got sulfur already, we've got silicon. So let's have magnesium. And then let's have cobalt. And then I've just got one more to do. Let's just check our power quickly. So this should be the last of our mines. So we've got 341 left and I need 289. So I'm gonna build the final T3 ore extractor. Then I'm gonna have to build a, um, I'm gonna have to build a, a T2 reactor. Right, okay. Right, osmium. Ooh, we don't have enough osmium to make a rod. Okay, we're gonna have to do an osmium run. Actually, no, I've got more here. Oh my god, I've got osmium everywhere. That's excellent. There's the super alloy. Aluminium. Iridium. Uh, super alloy rod. Osmium rod. Titanium. There we go. And that is all of the ore extractors done. That is huge. That is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Good. So we've now we're now sorted for all our materials. Let's grab a drink while we're here. In fact, while I'm here, I'm gonna pick up some algae because we always need that. Particularly if we're gonna start. I think I'm gonna build some farms. I need to look at what I haven't built yet. Um, because we've unlocked some stuff and we need to uh, cause I haven't got a whole stack of algae growing and we're full there we go there we go along a little bridge perfect Alright, let's ditch the algae. There we go. I keep forgetting. You can press control on my word. We'll get there. We'll get there, ladies and gents. Right. Um, so, what have we got to build that we haven't built? So we built a butterfly farm, built a silk generator, incubator. All of that's done, along with a tier three tree spreaders done all the screens are done i mean that's just cosmetic that's what's that that's done we have one butterfly farm so t5 heaters t4 heaters ah t3 so we've only built t4 we need to build t5s drone station we need a fusion energy cell for that so that's not going to happen for a bit okay so we can't do the drone thing that needs pulsar quartz as well Super alloy rods and explosive powder. Yeah, I think we need to build some T5 heaters. What's in this one? Energy wiser that use an absolute ton.
But look, so so one T. So I, I so that's four thousand. So it's n like nine for heat and pressure. So like nine T fours equals that. Okay, food level. So I should get rid of these T threes as well. They're just they're just an, a, a waste right now. Right, uh, food wise, yeah, I'll well, take a bit of that. Let's empty this. There, like so. Like so. Right, so we're going to start getting rid of these. Because in they're just a, they're just a waste. Holy moly, uh, they're just a waste, right? Because um, uh, titanium, silicon. Ooh, actually, let's get rid of the silicon. All right, aluminium we'll put in here because aluminium we definitely need. The iridium rods we'll definitely need. Fortunately, we have got quite a stash of iridium. So we've got 175 terra tokens there, which is very nice indeed. Um, right, let's pick up these. Which is good. More terra tokens, which is nice. And silicon. Yep, there we go. Right, so oh, we need to go and get ourselves a piece of food. We don't have any food on us. I always carry food, oxygen, and water. Oxygen, not such a big deal now, but um, can be uh, useful if you're doing underwater stuff. Right, okay, so these heaters out here are T4s, I believe. Yeah, that's a T4. Okay, right, so if I... Yeah... And not only will this give us mats, it will. I think I'm going to run out of space. Um, it will give us a bit of power back as well. All right, so chemicals. So we are going to need these. Oh, we've got an asteroid strike incoming. We were getting absolutely pounded there. Let's keep emptying this. So we're struggling with super alloy. That's fine. We'll pick that back up. But we're going to deconstruct that one. Which should give us enough super alloy. 
Haha. But of course, if you find it lying around on the ground, Jesus, everywhere. Okay. Let's ditch this and see if we can find more super alloy because it seems like there was a ton of it in that asteroid strike. So, super alloy. Thank you. We'll keep the iridium rods because we're running out of space anyway. No, so I don't see any more super alloy on the ground. Maybe it was just that area. In fact, while I'm here, I'm going to go pick up the super alloy from the mine. Because we're going to need it. But this is the advantage of you. Hey, Pokerface! Yo, have you gone back to World of Tanks? Um, I've played a few games. Um, I did one stream, which was an unscheduled one. But, um, no, I don't play World of Tanks regularly. And I certainly am not intending to stream it. Um, my stream's focused on Planet Crafter, uh, Starfield... Once we've completed Planet Crafter, we'll be going on to Cyberpunk, Baldur's Gate 3. I've still got some Total Warhammer series to finish. And um, uh, what was the other one I was going to finish? I've got a whole bunch of other like story games and things I want to finish. So, yes, um, I have played it. Uh, I, I, I had a look at the game once they did the... Um, they nerfed the Chieftain in 279E, but I have no intention of committing back to that game until they nerf premiums. You like Onslaught? No, again, not, not really. Uh, I played Onslaught last time. It's not really my cup of tea i have to say though i have now unlocked every single tech tree tank and i do own every single tier 10 except the ebr the bat chat artillery and the new british tier 10 wield but i do own the british tier 10 wheel right super alloy rods so we need eight and eight so yeah, I play it offline a little bit when I've got like you know when I've got like half an hour to play a game or something. But um, you know, uh, the thing I'm always short of is credits, and um, I uh, you know most of my credit earning is in tier eight, and I hate things like the BZ. I hate things like the ELC. And they shouldn't be in the game. Or they should be nerfed. So it's still quite pay to win. Nice they nerfed the Chieftain though in the 2790. They, they, uh, I think they nerfed them in a reasonable way. They didn't kill the tank. Which was pleasing to see. I don't, I don't want them to kill tanks. But the balance in the game is still shocking. You play a game of random. Or play, play 10 games of randoms. And tell me how many different tanks you see. Because I can guarantee it's going to be, in Tier 8, it's going to be Scorpions and Su-130 PMs. It's going to be Progettos and Barasks, ELC as a light tank, and Skoda T-56, 703 version 2 as your main heavies. That, that's, that's how most of the games go. And when you've got, like, 700 tanks in the game, 
or let's say in tier eight you've got with all the premiums i don't know i don't know how many there are 100 tanks and only six are played or eight are played your balance is whack so they've got a long way to go right first tier five heater boom there it is look at that bad boy that's freaking massive that's huge. Awesome. Right, let's go check our power. You know, and they continue the shenanigans, loot boxes again. You know, new content to, you know, was it two new tanks, three new tanks? Yeah, let's just stick them in the loot boxes and have people gamble for them. So, uh, yeah, not great. Not great.